How's it going everyone? We are playing a brand new game. Disco Elysium, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, now there's, I've never talked about this on camera. There are usually two reasons that I would get a game. Number one, either because I watched a gameplay video uh, for that game, maybe like 10, 20 minutes, just to get uh, an idea. Number two is that I hear good, uh, I guess, I hear good uh, reviews from my best friends whom I play with all the time. I like to talk about I talk about games with them. But one of my friends did did recommend uh, this game to me, and I trust their opinion. So I, it didn't even take me a second. He said this game was amazing. I bought it. Let's play it. Yep. So we're going now. Um, let's just check the options before we start. Uh, this feels good. It feels good to be playing with music again. By the way, voice over. Yep. Let's go. Ah, oh, character. Interesting. Archetype. Sensitive. Very psychological, magnetic personality, but unstable. Might begin to lose his mind. Not playing with that thinker. Um, extremely intelligent. Very bad with people. Knows interesting facts. I love this. Uh, physical? I don't know about physical. Yeah, interacts with the world through his body. I prefer thinker. You can even create your own. Wow, okay. Encyclopedia. Inland Empire. Hand slash eye coordination. Uh, I feel like this is me. <laughs> um, very bad with people, but knows a little bit about everything. So we'll go with Thinker. Begin, okay? There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ancient reptilian... The tripti, reptilian brain. Brain. Okay. Ever. Ever. Never. Ever. What? <laughs> Simply keep on non-existing? Never. An Wait. An amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. Give me some more. <laughs> you got it, sweet brother. Nothing upon nothing upon nothing. How about you cough up some of more of that sweet oblivion? <laughs> Coming right up, sir. Smooth passy. I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give me give them to me. Do you me. really? I do. Let me off. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Limbic system. That's scary. Why did you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much on yourself. Got a bit carried away, did we, chef? Is this my brain and body torturing me for, for some... Like, I feel like I'm being tortured here. Uh, I don't care. Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meat around you. Sensation. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. Wants to walk the desert? It wants to walk the desert. Oh. Hurting. Longing. Dancing to disco music. Mother, help me, there's a head attached to my neck. <laughs> a stench of liquor rises from With your it. mouth. I know it. An ungodly headache. Okay, okay, okay. A fiery streak penetrates your skull. Sound. Trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. A clarion call from hell. Somehow, you know what it is. Hello? Encycl oh, that's my special ability, I think, the encyclopedia. Kupris Kinema. I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's, this is not looking good for us. <laughs> no, we're not. Are we a drunk uh, alcoholic? No. Okay. Let's get the pants on. And this is how oh, it looks like a sh jacket or a shirt. There we go. What is? You hear a jingle. Oh. Q. 
keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Okay. I didn't hear anything though. It says whirling in ranks, whirling in ranks. on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key number one, ring. I th I'm, the number hmm. one is etched on it. I'm guessing number one is, is the room the key? But what is, what is whirling in rags? The whirling in rags is a hostel cafeteria on the urban coast, frequented by dock workers. Uh, I'm guessing this is where I am currently. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, that, oh, interesting. An inventory system. Wait, something is here. Words fail to describe how rank it smells in here. Okay. What is that? Is that a shirt? It is. Okay. <laughs> well, we got our clothes on. That's, that looks good, I guess. But we don't have shoes. We need the... Um, oh, we did a lot of things. Hat, shoes, neck. Okay. Bullets. Scary. I have to highlight. Can I open this door? Nope. Look here. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. Mm -hmm. In a first discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Okay. Was this not the same Elo that founds empires and lays waste to cities? Virile, uncaring towards the little things? Conceptualization. Probably not, no. Hot water sprays from the faucet's base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself. Just a vague impression of a man. What steam? Well, wipe the mirror. What a, Suddenly, what I mean? you realize oh. you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. <laughs> oh, let's just get it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> you have no idea who this thing is, <laughs> do you? This is the face of a late stage alcoholic. Yep. Too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. What is rigor mortis? Wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? I'm not making it. The face is making it. Please stop. <laughs> it's horrible. Okay. You're scaring yourself. Okay, okay. Try to stop. Oh my God. You can't stop. It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face and now it won't come off. Oh, <laughs> what do I what do? What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? It's an expression of pain. You are correct. Oh, really? Uh, encyclopedia formidable. Dig deep into your mind to locate the source. It belongs oh. in the new, the third decade of the current century. Enough time had passed from the failure of the revolution that, for a fleeting moment, Free market economy seemed like the ultimate, uncontested way of life for our species. What on earth? Things were good. It was smooth sailing. People made gold and champagne tinted interiors and facades to suit the times, calling this the new style. But more importantly, disco happened. Disco? For Revachol, your city. That meant only one thing. Guillaume La Million. If it doesn't rhyme, you're not pronouncing it right. Out of the dazzling swirl of disco music, in an open air, Boite de Nuit, somewhere in Revachol West, Guillaume's blonde mane appeared on the screen. He sang some bullshit. Then he made the expression. Ah, uh, okay. I guess that's it then. Why? So what? So I adopted it? Why? Everyone loved it. Maybe you thought some of the stardust would rub off on you. Maybe it did. Either way, it's all gone now. Only the grimace remains. Um, anything else? Like, well, who am I? What did I drink myself? You have some understanding of the near history of disco. The rest is darkness. Aside from the useless fact that the motor carriage outside was a Caprice Kanema. Okay, uh, interesting. It doesn't have to be. You can swoon over Guillaume and his champagne cork smile whenever you want to. Maybe some of the stardust will return. Uh, impossible. Attempt to stop the expression from happening. I don't think I was 3% plus 2 because you know the origin. Okay, let's, I mean, chances of it working are slight, slim. It's too late. Yeah, okay. Like an image on film. The expression. 
belongs to your primary motor cortex. It would take a minor neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. Okay, wow. <laughs> okay. Let the mirror be for now. And then I guess we get out of here. Room looks like a mess, honestly. I'm not touching that bottle again. Is that a shoe? <laughs> Wait. Okay, let's let's look around this room before we leave. Dab, maybe? Oh, there we go. There's this broken window. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Assess the damage. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Interesting. Did I throw something out of the window? A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. Uh, what did this... More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back. Okay, obviously a project impact. projectile. I figured that one out, but... Do, can we figure out which... What, what, what thing I threw away? A bottle of wine, maybe? Or whatever. Assess the size it of the impact. It is too large for a okay. bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Uh, heavy, larger than your fist? A bottle? Maybe, I don't know. The single green shoe you found fits the hole oh. almost as well <laughs> as your foot. It would have also been heavy enough Did I thrown with force. Did I throw my shoe away out of the window? <laughs> Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Wow. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you could still find the other one on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. The door to it should be outside your room. Okay. Maybe it wasn't me. I should go and get the that shoe. The cold wind gushes in. Your toes curl oh. up from the cold. Okay, so we have things. That's the... Okay. That's a mission, I think. Yeah, go find your shoe. Okay, I don't know what that is. Internalize. What are short thoughts? Stop. Bonuses from thoughts. I, I don't know. Okay, you know what? Close this one for now. Don't think. Maybe we check out these. What is that? Oh, it's a tape recorder. Empty cassette. This is... Yeah, okay, we're good. Let's get out of here. Oh, there's a woman, calendar, uh, let's check here. Oh wait, perfect, maybe we can find out, wait, there's something, money, nice, get some money. Oh, there's that, no, wait. Maybe that's the balcony where we can find our shoe? Yeah, there it is, nice, perfect. <laughs> okay, so, a gust of rainy wind washes there over you. Two identical shoes, both copiously green and indiscriminately oh, I love the narration. Reunited on your I feet, love the narration, okay. Like two baby crocodiles. How do they fit? Good, they're balanced, comfy. It feels wrong. like the okay. only good thing about you right now, <laughs> truth be told. Okay. Got two shoes. Oh yeah, baby. And that's this thing. Not sure what to do with it. Okay, let's get in there. Okay, so let's talk to the lady, maybe. Look at the calendar first. Hello, officer. Officer? Oh, no. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Am I a police officer? Her eyes are brown, and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. I can't be a, like, a decent example of a police officer if I have been drinking in a motel or whatever this place is. A silver jumpsuit falls off her like scale armor, sparkling. Oh. This is the sparkle of too many nights out on the city. Officer, am I a military personnel? Uh, no. Wait, I know, I'm a business chief executive officer. The young woman shakes her head. Oh, no. Slow. Officer could be an artistic statement, a claim to official renown. Oh, uh, officer is my stage name, right? <laughs> no, you're a police officer, sir. You're shitting me. <laughs> I'm not. Oh. 
Unless you've been shitting us all this time. Okay. Uh, you've been here for three days on official police business, oh, no less. So three days official police business and I've been drinking? That's not good. Couldn't say. In truth, so far, yeah, man. mostly drinking. I, I had a feeling. Okay. You have no doubt about the drinking. But do you strike yourself as a tight-lit drunk? She must have heard something. Uh, who in the right mind would let me be an officer of the law? I might not know where I am or who I am or what a Cooper Skinema is. How I know what one sounds like. Wait. Could it be because of the drinking? Uh, she hasn't had time to put her makeup on. This is her morning cigarette. She looks tired. Her beauty waning faster than it ought to at her age. She nods. But I do know when someone's not telling me the whole story. There's a mercenary out back. He's been hanged. The body has been there for a week now. The locals probably got tired of it and called the cops. Oh. I didn't mean to overwhelm you with information. You seem a bit lost, officer. <laughs> Who in the right mind would Don't let be me so be an officer? Yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. <laughs> okay. Okay. Of well. course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Oh, they don't like the police. Interesting. Okay. Something stirs in you as she's about to go. Call it an instinct, a need, the need to ask questions. It's like you said the words a million times before. Hmm. Okay. So more questions. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. All right. Oh, before we go, have yes. some questions. Your room is almost next to- yeah, that's a good question. There was the usual ruckus. Loud disco music. Any visitors? I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. Loud disco oh, music? yes. Various artists. Ostentatious orchestration prime among them. Ostentatious or- what on earth? What kind of name? Oh, that. Yeah. Whoa. The less said about OO, oh, oh, the better. Okay. OO oh, oh, were huge where I come from. I was very young then, of course. Like, seven. Life gets hard, but we go on. Yeah, we go on, all right. It mostly just gets hard, doesn't it? I don't know about that. At around two o'clock, the disco stopped, and there was a change of pace. Okay. A slow, sad song started playing. Like organ music on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Some of the time you were yelling along to it. Was I singing this? Show her the empty case of the most church in St. Saint Saint's. Yes, there was a church in there. A really small church. Like the smallest, saddest church in the whole world. It was about that. Okay, what else? That it doesn't matter anymore and that we're alone now. Oh, wow. It was difficult to tell. The song itself is very quiet and soft, but you sounded like a wounded boar, sir. It was hard to understand what you were singing on top of it. Uh, well, I guess drunk people get mood swings. And then what happened? Then you started screaming and oh, trashed God. the place. <laughs> You're making this up. I would never behave, behave like that. I'm a professional police officer here. Yes, never. <laughs> What happened? The window was smashed. The tape player, probably. The song stopped. And furniture, too. A real destructathon. There was screaming. Then I think uh, you passed out. Please tell me there wasn't anything else. There was. I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. I may have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. Okay. I went out afterwards. Okay. <laughs> Everything was quiet by then. Around four or five. Uh, tell me. And that was it. Is it 51 now? It's 51. Oh, you're 51, and then what century are we in? The current century. Uh, okay, the number? Centuries don't have numbers. They have names. And this is the current one. Interesting. Okay. Uh, how many centuries? Civilization has existed for 8,000 years, sir. What's so you're funny? Right. 
<laughs> there is nothing funny about civilization. And where exactly are we? We're in a hostel, sir. Oh, this is the dock workers hostel, I guess. Or I don't know. I don't remember the name. We are in Revachol. Revachol. Revachol is the disgraced former capital of the world, divided into zones of control oh. under foreign occupation. Half a century after a failed world revolution, she is central to our moment in time. Revachol forever. Forever <laughs> and ever. And ever and ever. Okay. Out of the corner of your eye, you see the hair on the back of your hand standing on end. It feels as though low-grade lightning is coursing through you. You must be hypersensitive from the hangover. Okay, okay. What is it they have against the police? The dock workers are pretty cocky. They think they're police enough. At least here on the coast. I can't say about the rest of the city. Okay, um, Glad to I have guess been assistance. no more questions I could ask here. I got everything I, can, I need. I'm in a hostel. I got myself drunk to death. <laughs> And then, yes, we, we we were here on a job essentially. Let's see here. Oh, big place. Nice. And so this is, yes, this is the manager or the bartender. A man in his late twenties stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. Everything is cool between you and this guy. He's a big fan. Make some small talk. Empathy failure. Are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. Oh, okay. He's very animated all of a sudden. This seems like a touchy subject. This seems like a touchy subject. Okay, so understood. Mm -hmm. Look at the stuff. A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its One wings, of his wings okay. broken. The man is trying to mend it. Did I break this when I was drunk? Hopefully not. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. This is the great skua. The seabird is the symbol for the discovery of the Insulindian Isola. The part of the world you are in right now. I love, th I love this. I, I think, oh, this is. A, I love the encyclopedia. I know, it's just because I'm a thinker. I think it is. I, I, I remember reading it below my, my character. Yeah. The small steel tag says as much. The great skua, Stercoarius skua. Okay. Uh, can I help you with that? Look, your buddy is over there. Um, a man in bomber jacket, stepping his Why foot. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? What do you mean, my she buddy? He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. I guess a fellow police officer, maybe? Over there. Oh, there he is. Uh, a lot to check out here. Let's talk to him first. A bespeckled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. Kim Kitsuragi, <laughs> that's my partner. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. Okay. On the sleeve of his bomber jacket, as well as on its back, are the same enigmatic white rectangles as on your blazer. Okay, so maybe I've a partner. Hello. I don't know. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. Sure. You realize. He's waiting for your name. Invent a name, minus one partial to the officer. Just call me officer. I don't really know my name. You know what? Call me officer. Very well, officer. <laughs> I love this. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? Uh... What he means is, he has been trying to meet up with you for two days. But okay. you have been... Otherwise occupied. Excuse my idiocy here. I didn't understand that. Okay, sure. Yeah. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? Yep. Uh. It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? N um, nope. <laughs> okay. We'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. 
Uh, okay, cool. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Dead body? <laughs> you can't. <laughs> no. So, the body is still <laughs> in the tree. Well, I, I didn't know there was a body hanging in the tree. Okay. Where it has been hanging for seven oh, days. Oh, no. Straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Um... What if I told you I'm not really a police officer? Okay, let's not go with these stupid questions here. After you, officer. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Wait, shouldn't I have a badge or you something? You mean you don't have a badge? Uh, it wasn't on me. Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. Okay, cool. cool. Lieutenant Kitsuragi is now in your party. Tutorial you can talk to him whenever <laughs> by interacting with him. Okay, so he's with me. Um, wait, did I get some? Oh, it's the these missions. Investigate the body, I guess. Yep, report your missing badge. Well, we are going to talk to the manager. Oh, he's following me. Nice. Okay. And I can sprint. Perfect. Uh... Hello. The man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. To the lieutenant. That's true. So he, for some reason, he doesn't like me. Mr. Gart, right? Glances into his. You looking. run this place. Okay. Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison Fifty Seven. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison Forty One. The Harbinger. <laughs> Wait, can I say this? I it's a game, man. I gotta say what? it. What? Nothing. I, yep, that is exactly what I wanted to see happen. What is this? A joke to you? Is this what you get when you call the police now? This guy? We've been waiting for a week here. Sir, I understand your concern, but we are here to do a job. And for us to do it, I need you to stay calm. Okay. Yes, of course. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene, but it also took you a while to call us. It was you who placed the call, correct? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. Oh, nice. Uh, finds a slip of paper, hands it to the lieutenant. This sounds like something you can use. To call this Sylvie later. Yeah, okay, I didn't need that kind of help. Sure. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? Are you a local? Oh, he got here from somewhere, okay. What, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. Interesting, okay. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. In case it's I don't think that's the point of the question. Yes, I know where some things are, but yeah. as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. Hmm. I feel like the there is a hidden purpose behind this question, but I don't know, I'm not sure. I didn't imply that. Detective. What what do you mean I didn't imply that? He probably means this is where you step in and ask your questions. Oh, okay, right questions. His face expresses profound doubt in your this. <laughs> ask him about the body's location before ask him if he killed him. People give up information in the more innocuous questions, which you can later use in the more sinister ones, not vice versa. Oh, so I ask more innocent questions first? That... Yeah, people give more information with more instant questions, and then, yeah, okay, I see. So, let's start with this question. Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. They? They? Okay, that's an interesting they. Does he know the pe people who did this? That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. Then, to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. Interesting. This man means the heavy cavalry of the innocent Franco-Negro 
sweeping over the plains and nations of the enemies of mankind. Fifth century style, okay. unified currency and the concept of cool came in their wake. They wore lamella and carried guns. But first and foremost, Franco-Nigerian heavy cavalry was really, really wide. That hole in the fence must be enormous. Okay, okay. why did Sylvie go? Who killed him? Um... She went away because none of your business. Okay, rude. I'm Have a... they not been telling you you're a <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was about to say I'm a police officer. That's rude. Okay, you got me. She went away because of the dead body out back. And because I asked for her number. That's why Sylvie went away. I hope you appreciate that. Uh, Thank you. Mystery solved. <laughs> Wait, thank you. The lieutenant says he opens his little notebook. Uh, didn't, I don't want to intrude. Is it? Because I thought you were supposed to be investigating the lynching, not my employer conduct. You're right. I, should, I probably shouldn't have asked. Forget it. So who killed him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. But you said they hanged him up on the tree or something. This is it. He said they hoisted him up yeah. on a tree. Yeah, okay. okay. Who is this? Even the game is helping me here. If he doesn't know. Uh, before you, yeah, before you said they hoisted him. Uh, oh, people are saying it was the union dock workers. That it was a lynching. Oh, exactly. The locals, the customers, the people who eat here. A lot of dock workers eat here. Sylvie told me everyone knows the dock workers did it. Mm, I, I don't like this gossip type of talk. Did the debarders themselves tell her this, or is it a rumor? I don't really know. You'll have to ask her. Why would the dock workers do that? I suppose do they... it's because they have nothing better to do. Hmm. Nothing better to do? What? what this is just... Like, you're free, you kill someone? I, I don't understand. You mean the strike? Yes, the strike. The man they hanged was a security guard for the harbor company, I hear. A mercenary. The unionists probably thought they'd send a message. Did you kill him? What are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him! The lieutenant turns the page in the little notebook he's been scribbling in. Interesting. Okay, that's Let's all. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. Okay, slip away unnoticed. What's real? real? <laughs> oh, excuse me. You owe me 130 real. <laughs> okay. The IIR, or Interisolary Real, is the global reserve currency. Whatever part of the world you're in right now, it's safe to assume <laughs> okay. you owe him <laughs> some money. Oh, I understand you mean I owe you money. Oh wow, my god. <laughs> you're a genius. Yes, that's right. Money. You owe this establishment 130 real. Okay, what do I owe? Let's see. Three nights at a tariff of 20 real comes to 60 real. Okay. Then there's the window you annihilate. <laughs> the hole in the window was the first thing I saw when I came to work. So don't try to tell me you didn't. That will be 40 real in damages. Okay, that's 100. Another thing you've annihilated is half the bar. You've run a tab of 30 real. Actually, more, but we'll round it down to 30 for your hard work maintaining the stability and order of Revachol. That's 60 plus 40 plus 30 equals 130 real. And yes, real is still <laughs> money. Hey, thanks, man. Uh, well, I don't have any money. <laughs> I have 0.40. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. 0.40? That doesn't help, I think. <laughs> You're under <laughs> Why would I even say that? <laughs> what are you, a philosopher? But what exactly is money? Uh... Money is what grown-up people use to pay for things. Things like this hostel room, or, or eight bottles of potent blend, and nine packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, really. Proceed and show him the coins you found. Is this money? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh my god. Count them. Uh, that's 10 plus 10 plus 20 equals 40. I'm not dead tonight. <laughs> Keep the money. I, I love this game. No, you see, that's 40 cents. Cents are a form of currency 100 times smaller oh, no. than the real. I'm not even going to take this. 
Come oh. back when you have 130 real. But that's horrible. <laughs> it is. Okay. Isn't it evil? The order of magnitude between what is asked of a person oh my God. and what they have. Darkness rides. It does, <laughs> doesn't it? There's a shuffle of nylon as Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for something in the pockets of his orange bomber. Uh, what happens I'm now? I'm sorry, but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer if he doesn't. If he doesn't have the money by tonight, then... Officer, maybe you're better off working this from home for now. You live in Jamrock, right? It's not that far away. Uh, is there somewhere else, somewhere else I can stay? I don't have a home. I don't remember where, where my home is. Uh, well, let's uh, start by this. You mean somewhere else to run up a huge debt? I don't think so. The union squeezed in most places out of business to fund the strike. You're better off home. <laughs> I'll take my chances on the streets. Okay. Well, let's see what I'm we can sorry, do. sorry I couldn't help more. You should take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car, okay? We have to get this investigation started This now. guy is serious. He wants to get work done. Good luck. Wait, does gain or uh, pay for damages? By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. Hey, well, you're, uh, Mr. Encyclopedia, please help me. Tell me where, where I live. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. I, I don't know, south maybe? You don't really know, do you? I have only a vague blackened image. I don't know, does this mean I'm homeless? South maybe. Doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Could I trace the way back somehow to the exact street number? Wow. You can try. Run no. some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a street or an apartment will appear. Okay, so what's up here? Oh, who made the call reporting the crime pay for damages? Okay, and then here, uh, more thoughts. Let's rewind, let's trace your drunken steps back home, jump across the race channel. Fall over, get up, get off the asphalt. These are frozen in time. So yeah, walk, walk around, maybe you'll f figure out where your home is essentially. Okay, well. Uh. Yes? I think you should know that I can't remember anything. You seem to be following me. <laughs> no response. He just, he's having trouble processing it. Believe in it even. Okay, forget the moment it. Passes. He, do he doesn't even believe me. Hello, sweetie. Oh. Wait, who's sweetie? <laughs> oh, sweet. Wait, who's sweetie? Why, you are, officer. Look at this man. I I'm no sweetie. <laughs> You're a handsome man, officer, with your mustache and your chiseled jaw and that silly dimple on your chin. Well, thank you. You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I completely forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. Her eyes glitter over the rims of her glasses. Okay. This Lena is wacky enough for the Motley crew. Hire her on the spot. What about okay. Hire her on this on the spot on the spot. Uh maybe later? Can I have multiple partners? You seem to be in... How, how would you like to roll with me? <laughs> Whatever do you mean? I want you to be my wheelchair partner in fighting crime. <laughs> Sequence killers? Oh my. Wait, can I have her but in the party? You already have a partner, sweetie. Oh, no, I can't have multiple people, can I? A partner who needs you to help him get a corpse down from a tree. Uh, yes, <laughs> I forgot you. <laughs> It seems to me that you lucked out with your partner. Yeah, okay. He has the look of an upstanding officer of the law. Someone you can lean on, and yep. sweetie, you are looking unsteady. Very... Of course, dear. Oh, yeah. Good luck. Very reliable partner, Kim Kitsuragi. He will solve this case, probably. I don't know. <laughs> Not me. Okay, um... Let's, uh, let's save here. We're out of time, sadly, so I'm gonna end this one here. Great game so far. I'm loving it. I love the humor. Love the dialogue. Oh god. This is uh 
This is gonna be a fun one. I I imagine from from what I've seen so far. What are all these controls and thoughts, tools? Uh, okay, I'll check out. I'll check out these things later. Don't be afraid to say weird things. People are more forgiving. Persons of powers like. Oh, cool. Anyways, for now, thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a good day.